Hi, this is Fool for Peppers. I'm back with uh, another VCarve video short. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the trace bitmap function of, of uh, VCarve Pro. Uh, I'm going to import a bitmap, a uh, black and white one, and trace around a three letter monogram set so I can use it later on to make multiple monograms of different, uh, different letter combinations. Uh, generally the ones you find online have AAA, BBB, uh, have not been able to find a font anywhere to, f to, to fit this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own set of fonts. In this case I went to Google and found a, a circle monogram, fairly large bitmap size. I think this one was like 6,000 by 2,500. And I import it. You can see nice black and white crisp image. Uh, very simple to click the import bitmap and uh, do a preview nice crisp, crisp lettering drawings it's very easy to do when it's a black and white uh, I'm doing an apply close the trace bitmap and I generally go back and cl click on the actual image and I can either I can go and just turn that image off in the background I can delete it if I want to but I'll leave it there for now okay, and I'm gonna pull this these Actually, I'm going to highlight all of all of these and move them off to the side because I'm going to be use the work area to to make a single um, single drawing. So what I want to do is generally I make mine. Let's just make a size of 20 inches. Okay. So I want to know blow all of these up to a 20 inch size. Uh, currently, let's see what size these are. These are 2.6 to about 2 2.59. So what I want to do is see how to make these them all 20 inches. And how would I do that? I unlink and make the height and width of the very first one. 20 by 20. So I don't really just want to blow up each one of this. It takes a while. It would take a while to go and step through and blow up every one of them and move them around. So I want to blow up all of them at one time. Oops, I made a mistake there. I'm going to do that by 20. Okay. So it looks like if I take and select all of them and increase them by 768.19 and 771.48, I should be able to increase them all to be 20 inches. So I'm kind of lazy. I'm going to create a new document here. Okay. And in this case, I'm going to write these down so I don't forget them because I'm not just going to increase that one and also don't have a pen and paper handy so create a notepad write those down in this case I'm going to close out not change the size I'm going to highlight all of them go back to the select image or set size and I'm going to change the percentage size to okay 768.19 and 771.48 so oh they got very big so now I'm gonna pull these off to the side now I'm gonna take let's just say I'll take my initials first name uh, is a B middle name is a D and last name is a K so Generally, standard is first name, middle name, uh, excuse me, first name, last name, middle name. So we're going to start with a 20-inch circle because I said it, that I've created them all about the 20-inch size. And 20-inch circle, center 12 by 12. Okay. Now, I said the first initial is a B. I'm going to copy and paste to create another another uh, another B in the area or so I can pull it away then I'm going to group it so all the elements stay together and then I'm going to use the align objects and I'm going to align it with another object I'm going to do a vertical alignment and then our left justify then middle initial K there's a K I'm going to do a copy and paste move it over whoops let's try that one more time now I can move it over and don't need to group that one because it's all one element 
I'm going to select the object I want to align with and then I'm going to do a center justify. Then I'm going to go get a D, copy paste, that's control C, control V, or you can use the menu up here and do a copy and a paste. Okay. Oop. Okay. Okay, control C, control V. Now I'm going to group these again to keep all the elements together. Select the item I'm going to justify on, which is a center justify, and then I'm going to do a right horizontal justify. Now, you can see we've got a B, D, K. It's all about a 20 inch size. The ones I like uh, have a um, interconnected connections between the letters so you don't have to put an outside uh, circle around it or a connecting point. So to make something very small, I probably need about a three quarter inch connection between them. So in this case, connect them. I'm going to put a, let's say a 18, 19 inch circle. Probably not enough. It's going to create a 20 inch. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to delete the very first two circles I made. And the connecting point is going to be about 70 or 3 quarter inches. So I'm going to offset uh, the vector inward for about a 3 quarters of an inch. Now, as you notice, nice. Um, they're going to be connecting points between the letters. And I'm going to get rid of them and trim the rest of these. Now, use the trim tool again, and I'm going to try to trim these. And it's probably, see, it doesn't work because I've got some of these elements grouped. So, what I want to do is highlight it all right click ungroup everything that you see and it's going to make it easier to trim it. I'm going to trim there and there on the B and make the interconnecting points. You can see I'm just going across and clipping and trimming and you notice I connect them there. Okay. Sometimes it becomes Oops, let's back up. I made a mistake. Uh, just do a control Z to back out of my, my mistake. Then I'm going to trim. Now, there we go. It's always easy to make a mistake, and then it's easy to fix that mistake by doing a control Z. Okay, so there's my letters B, D, K. Um, nice 20-inch monogram. Now I can go through and create a toolpath. Again, I use smaller bits to, to bring out the detail and they're very inexpensive. Um, and there's your three-letter monogram, connect, connected three-letter monogram. So, thank you very much and have a good day.